This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. We ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda and expose the Antichrist system that we live in. Folks, today's episode, I would say, is up there as one of the most important ones for you to watch. Okay, this is very important information. This will help you understand why we're in the predicament we're in. And I'll help you understand mind control and how it really works and how we're all under this hypnosis that we've been put under by the Antichrist system. Okay, for starters, the word mind control, you need to separate from thinking that it's some crazy conspiracy theory word and it's not true. Your brain is like a computer. It can be programmed to believe this, to believe that. It can be molded and it can be manipulated. That's how the human brain works. Okay, and television is the number one way to get somebody under mind control, and I will explain to you how. For starters, on average, Americans spend over 38 hours a week watching television, which is an insane amount of hours, sitting in front of this box. Okay, so it shows you how much people are putting television into their lives, how much of a mainstay it is in their lives. 38 hours is almost a full work week for some people. Okay, so you have to understand the brain. I'm going to do this as simply as I can. I'm not going to go crazy here with big words and confuse you, but let's think of it in two different ways, right? Your brain works in two phases, okay, with beta waves and alpha waves. Okay, beta waves is when you're awake and you're doing critical thinking, okay? You're making choices in a beta state. An alpha state is deep relaxation, okay? It's like daydreaming or being in hypnosis. Okay, studies have been done that when you turn on the TV and you watch the television, in under 60 seconds, your brain goes from being in a beta state into an alpha state. Okay, so think of that. You go from a beta into an alpha. An alpha state is a, is a passive learning experience. Okay, it's the right side of your brain is taking control. Your left side, which does critical thinking, is now shutting off. Okay. You can still learn while you are in an alpha state. You just can't decode things. So when you're watching TV, okay, and the left side of your brain is off, and they're pushing stuff on the news, they're pushing propaganda, they're pushing new music artists, they're telling you this is great and that is great. Your beta waves in your brain are not functioning. Your alpha waves are de can't decode what's going on, but it's taking all the information in and it's storing it. It's like you're in autopilot. Right, you're watching it, but you're you're in a you're daydreaming state, and you're just taking in all the information, and you're not really questioning it or decoding it. You're just watching it because you're under hypnosis in a sense, and you're storing all of this information in your head without decoding it. Okay. Thus, you are in a hypnotic state. So when you see news anchors talking the way they talk, right, and they say, "Well, this person went to a news anchor school and they learned to talk this way and look you right in the eyes." Notice how they always are looking you in the eyes, they're looking in the camera lens. Okay? Just like a hypnotist. You're getting sleepy, right? They're looking right into your eyes, speaking in this monotone yet authoritative voice while you're in a hypnotic state and they're force-feeding you fo false information and lies. So while your brain is in the alpha state, it's taking all this information and it's just storing it, okay? And at some point, you're going to use it, like the next day at a water cooler at work. You might bring up something you heard on the news and then talk about it like it's real, but you never decoded it. You've pretty much picked up this information without even knowing it, okay? They, they, what they do is they desensitize your brain, okay? So while you're in a hypnotic state and you're in an alpha state watching these shows or watching the news, okay, they're desensitizing you. Like when we see movies over and over with the same plot of this attack that's coming from above, this alien attack, right? They're desensitizing your brain for when it happens, you're not going to react and jump out of your seat because you've already been desensitized to it. You've been conditioned. That's part of the conditioning process, okay? And you could do things in your regular day-to-day -day life in an alpha state, such as like when you tie your shoes, you're in an alpha state. The first time you tie your shoes, you're in a beta state, right? Because you're learning how to tie. You've never tied a shoe before. Oh, here it is. I'm learning how to do it. Now it's this common nature, right? You know how to tie it, just like driving a car. People jump in an alpha state because it's just a routine. 
which is scary in a sense because you should be in a beta state because you always should be aware and looking around, but you can slip in and out from a beta to an alpha. But when you're watching TV, you are in an alpha state. Okay, so they can force feed you information and without your brain being able to debunk it because the beta part of your brain is shut off. So there's no critical thinking going on. And this is how we've gotten to where we are today because nobody is critically thinking. Everybody's getting force fed information, then acting like they know everything, believing that it's the truth because they heard it on a TV because they are under hypnosis. Then they go out and they regurgitate this false information. And then when people like me or other people out there who are trying to get the truth out there talk, they say, these people are crazy, man. Do you hear these people? And it's really embarrassing on their end because they're under such hypnosis that hearing anything other than what they've been told under this hypnotic state, hearing anything that questions it or is different from it, their body just completely shuts down and puts a wall up, attacking it, right? They attack. People attack conspiracy theorists, quote unquote, or people, truthers, they attack you because they have a wall up. They have a wall up because they've been forced to believe lies and information and they've never used critical thinking Okay, they never try to debunk anything. They've never questioned anything they've heard because the hypnotic state they were in completely brainwashed them into believing false information. Okay, and then when they carry over into a beta state, which probably barely happens this day and age because people are under mind control 24 7 because they're on their devices 24 7. So when you look down and see somebody constantly on their phone, they're in a, an alpha state. Okay. So it's important to know the difference between the two. And that's why we are where we are. Because nobody's using critical thinking. Nobody's questioning these things. Because when they're in an alpha state and they're under this hypnosis, they're getting force-fed all of this false information. They're getting told who to like, right? Like Katy Perry, like Rihanna, okay? These are the foods you should eat. This is the music you should listen to. This is who you should vote for. Here are your two fake presidential candidates. You get to pick. You get to vote. Get out there and vote. It matters. Believing in this false system that they've set up, which isn't real. Right? Because none of it's real. It's a control reality. They already have everything predetermined. They already know who the president's going to be. They know what events are going to happen because they've planned them out. But by keeping you in hypnosis in an alpha state and force feeding you all this information, this false world around us becomes true. Why? Because your brain has processed all this information while it was not critically thinking, okay? And is processing it as truth because it's never decoded it. It's never tried to question it or tried to ask, what is this that I'm getting shoved down my throat? Okay, then you go back out into the real world. You regurgitate all of this false information. And that's how we got to the point that we're at. That's why in the last hundred so years, Everything has is, is just gone from zero to 100. That's how fast they've ushered in the Antichrist movement from the beginning of the industrial age, right? With everybody having a television in their house, creating false events, right? False sciences like the moon landing and all of those things that they've created because the television you perceive as truth, you jump in, you watch it in an alpha state, whatever they show you, your brain debunks as truth and reality because it's not critically thinking or questioning any of it. This information is so vital to understand, okay? And it goes much deeper, but I'm trying to simplify it, make it as simple as I possibly can, because I know people out there can't listen for longer than five to 10 minutes. They can't process this kind of information because if I use a couple words that they've never heard before, like alpha and beta, their brain will shut off and say, eh, it's kind of boring. What, what, I want to watch the video he did on Rihanna or somebody like that. Well, this is the most important information. So I'm trying to simplify it as much as I possibly can. Right? There's two sides, the left and the right, the beta and the alpha. And the hypnosis occurs in the alpha state. So what I'm saying is do your best to remain in a beta state. Try to remain at a conscious level. It's amazing when you look at the studies that they've done from watching TV and going into an alpha state. If you pick up a book and start reading, you jump right back into a beta state because your brain is using critical thought. Okay? You're, using, you're not in a hypnotic trance when you're, when you're reading a book. So you're using your beta, but it's television. It's the television. They've learned that through doing studies, the Nazi scientists, okay, 
How do you think Hitler got all of these people behind him through his mind control films like Triumph of the Will? They learned through all of these six studies that they did how to get control of a human being's mind. And that's how we are where we are today. That's why there's so many sheep. That's why there's so many people out there. You look at them, you go, wow, this person is beyond an idiot. They can't even process thought because they're not processing thought. They're getting fed a false doctrine. They're getting fed false lies and they're perceiving them as reality. And then they walk around like robots, not critically thinking. And anyone who questions these things, they've already been told through watching the TV because they constantly talk about conspiracy theorists on the television to desensitize these people and get them conditioned to think that anyone who questions this stuff is a loony living in his parents' basement, okay, who has a false vision of reality, who's just a crazy, crazy person. And that's why people jump on people like me or other truthers and attack and say, oh, this is the, like, you know, how many people write on my wall and say, this is the funniest thing I've ever heard and yada, yada, yada. And I don't get upset, but I shake my head and I just say, man, these people are just so... So like, you know, because they don't know about this stuff. They don't know about something like the Kabbalah or something about something like, uh, you know, mind control, these things. They've never been taught this. So when they hear it, they just think it's crazy and laugh because all they know is a false doctrine they've heard from the television set, which has just dumbed them down to a point where they can't even critically think anymore. So be aware. And I know a lot of people who follow this channel don't watch a lot of TV. Some do. It's not a judgment on you if you do or you don't. We know that nothing but bad comes out of the television set. That's for sure. But obviously, I watch it to follow what agendas they have planned and what they're doing. And I see it because I watch it in a beta state. I always make sure I watch it in a beta state. I'm always thinking, saying, what is this? Why are they saying that? Got it, got it, got it. Taking notes while I'm watching sometimes. That's what you need to do. Try not to ever slip into an alpha state because then they can force feed you stuff. They can force feed it into your brain, okay? And then you're going to think that it's truth because it's just going to pop up into your mind the next day or a week later or whenever, whenever your brain tri- it gets triggered in your brain and you have never debunked it because it just got pushed into your head while you were in an alpha state. So think about these things. Think about how simple mind control really is and how true and real it is. People hear mind control and they say, ooh, like... Like the conspiracy theory things, like uh, the born supremacy, <laughs> you're crazy. Like they're so naive to believe that something like that couldn't happen. Like think about the brain and how to program and how you have likes and dislikes and things that you do and you don't do. It's all part of basic programming. We've all been programmed. And look how civilization has changed since the days of Little House on the Prairie to today and the quality of life, right? And the quality of, of, of being independent on yourself or, de- excuse me, dependent on yourself for food and all of these things, and now how dependent we are of government in a socialist world that we live in, socialist society. That's only 150 years ago. Little House in the Prairie is 150 years ago. Okay, building your own house, hunting your own food, farming your own stuff, focusing on your family, focus, focusing on God, right? And then 150 years later, look where we are. There is no, God is no longer allowed in this world. Right? Nobody knows how to do anything anymore because we're dependent on the government, because we are always in an alpha state. We are always put under this trance, and we are never told how to be self-sufficient. Nobody knows how to be self-sufficient because they won't allow you to be self-sufficient. They don't want you to be self-sufficient. Okay, Because when they usher in the Antichrist, they know that you're going to be accepting of the Antichrist for lots of reasons, and they want you to be, because they want your soul to go with him, the Antichrist, to go to Satan. Because they know you're going to be dependent on them and you're going to need them because you can't do anything on your own because you can't freely think. You can't figure out what's going on. It's like if you see somebody and you take their phone and just say you snap their phone over your leg or you threw it in the water, that person would have a meltdown, a meltdown. They would go bananas. They would probably hit you or try to hit you. They would cry. They would go frantic because of how dependent they've made us on the technology, Right. So even when you're not in front of your TV and you're on your phone out somewhere, you're still going into an alpha state because they're still force feeding you just false information. That's why one of the many reasons other than tracking you, they want you to have a cell phone. They want you to have devices always on you because they can always keep you in this alpha state and you'll never have a chance to wake up and jump into a beta state. You'll always be in an alpha. So you don't have to be in your living room anymore. You can watch TV on the train, on the bus, at work. Right? Always, always, always keeping you asleep. Okay? Because that's what the alpha state is. It's a, it's a deep 
relaxation, right? It's a deep relaxation. It's a hypnotic state. It's day, like daydreaming. So again, these things are important. Rewatch this video if you didn't understand it. Look deeper into mind control and just how the brain works. You don't have to be a, a brain surgeon to understand how the brain works. It's pretty basic. And these things are important because then you can understand how they, how you have been led to feel one way or the other way. Because it's through manipulation. When people comment on my wall about the race war, they refuse to believe that it's, it's controlled by the media. They think it's this real thing that's going on. right? Because they're being... Their mind is being molded and pushed the way that they want it to be pushed. That's exactly what they want you to think. Think the way they tell you to think, which means don't think, believe in our lies, obey us, be dependent on us, and never use your brain to critically think. And if you hear somebody who speaks against this system, they are a quote-unquote conspiracy theorist or a crazy person, you should laugh at them. And that's what happens. That's where we are where we are. And this is just basic mind control that we're under, okay? Pray to not be under the mind control. Pray to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Pray to our Father that we all are led out of this and that we can save our brothers and sisters and get them out of this hypnotic trance that they're in and bring them back to our Father. That's what matters most here. I thank you for listening to today's show. I hope this information has helped in some way. May God bless you all. Peace be with you.